welcome back to the channel thank you so much for coming back and clicking on my video it means a lot to me if you're a lover of makeup makeup news tips and tricks i'll love it so much if you would hit the subscribe button and join in on the kazoo family it's so much fun seriously i think you really have a good time here and if you don't you can always unsubscribe from me but please don't <laughs> um the first uh indie makeup brand release um it's been circulating already it's come out you've probably seen it already in your like feed that's popped up on your phone or your computer it's nomad cosmetics they came out with a travel series so they have a six pan palette so they came out with three of them so you've got auh which is abu dhabi and you've got osl which is oslo and you've also got um yxc which is the canadian canadian sorry the canadian rockies um these palettes look really lovely so you have your green like color scheme You've got your bronzy colour scheme and you've got your cool like neutral colour scheme which the one I'm more drawn to and one that I don't have in my collection like the one that I would go to buy would probably be the OSL one, the Oslo one, the cool neutrals one because you've got your nice shimmery silvers, your metallics, your dusty pinks, your nice taupes in there and you've got two soft mattes I think it says and you've got two shiny shimmers so, which just surprises me because I, I'm like, I like green eyeshadows, so I thought I'd be more swayed to go to the green one, but I do quite like the neutral one. And it's something like that I don't actually have in my collection. So check your collection out, see what you think. Do you need to add this to your collection? Is it something you could probably do about? I mean, how much are they asking for this? $22. So that's not a bad price, really. I've never tried. Um, that eyeshadow. I don't know what that eyeshadow formula is like. If you dark guys have and you like it, I'm guessing some of you are going to jump on it. Let me know in the comments below. Are you going to pick this up? Are you interested in this? Do you think the colours are good for, you know, that idea that they've put in place here for the different places? Um, yeah. Are you interested in it or not? Um, I like it. I'm probably not going to go and jump on this right now. It says it's not a limited edition, so it will be with them for a while i'm um, assuming but you never know of makeup brands because sometimes they say that and then they they're there for a bit and then they go or they go bankrupt who knows what's going to happen in the makeup world so much craziness happens in the makeup beauty world but i'm just learning still so much because i'm being a new youtuber in the makeup world yeah it's kind of crazy it's crazy stuff okay moving on ve cosmetics and they have um, a little sneak peek that Makeup On Your Radar has very kindly put out. Thank you. Um, they have given us this little picture here. It's like a new palette sneak peek. We were thinking, obviously, there's definitely a black here in the pan. We've got some shimmers happening. Maybe some multi-chromes. Who knows? But it looks interesting. I love the pan, like the palette layout, the shape of it and the round hands and then you've got the moons and i like how it's like symmetrically done it intrigues me i like it never tried this brand before but it excites me to look and to research and find out about new indie makeup brands i'm excited and yeah i want them to hurry up and just give us what the colors are please <laughs> um i don't know when it's coming out anything like that but i will keep you guys posted and i'll let you know in the community's post so look out for that next we have what are you guys um, this is Girl Cult, and Girl Cult have what are these beautiful blushes. These are called Sweetheart. This is their Sweetheart Blush collection. Don't they look lovely? And these apparently are going to look really great if you have that darker skin tone. This one is for you, they say. Even in fall and winter, you can keep that sweet, dreamy vibe. These three shades from Girl Cult's Mood Blush series are absolutely a must have. They do look lovely. I like. The packaging looks really nice and I love the embossing of the face. Have you guys tried Girl Cult? Are they good? Are they poo? Let me know below. Let everyone know below because I've never tried them and I'm just looking at the packaging. And you know you guys watch my videos, you know I'm like a bit of a sucker for when it comes to packaging and things from my childhood. I get sucked into it and I'm like, oh, I might need that. Um, but yeah. I don't know much about this company. I'll have to do some more research. But if you guys know more than what I do, I'll love it if you could like let me know if you've tried them out. That'd be really helpful. Okay, where are we to now? I've got my notes here. 
So coming in at number four, we have uh, Clarity Cosmetics. Oh my gosh, these look so exciting. So these are um, the Mermaid, Mermaid, oh, I can't even speak. <laughs> what is this in my notes? These are the Mermaid, this is the Mermaid Dreams collection that they're coming out with. So you have Return to the Sea, Mermazing, and you've got the Lost Kingdom. They have multi-chromes and duochromes in them. They're coming out soon. I haven't got a date yet. Again, I'll let you know. Well, the beauty community on YouTube will let you know. And someone will let you know probably before I do. Um, so last time they came out with their biggest launch ever, the Mermizing Palette. That was our biggest launch ever at the time. However, we feel like we dropped the ball in more ways than one. We decided to discontinue that palette. But to bring it back in three different palettes. So we absolutely love Aquaman and The Little Mermaid. We wanted to incorporate um, sometimes inspired by both, they are they saying. Uh, we have an entirely new formula. We made the pastels way better, they're saying. And we decided to rename the So Mermazing palette to, to Return to the Sea. Okay. And they added two new shades in that one. We did discontinued our Evil Mermaid palette and incorporated some of those shades in with the purple base palette called Mermazing. Uh, once we get all our official content and swatches back, we will announce the official launch date for you guys. So that's exciting. These are cool. Again, a company. I've not tried any of these guys' palettes, but I have heard really good things. I've gone on Reddit. I've listened to you guys. So yeah, uh, I will look out for these guys. Some of the shades though, and some of the palettes, I know they said they've done redone some of them, but some of them, like, it looks like some of them have, like, the same green in, like, one palette and one of the other palettes. I could be wrong though, but just something to look at when you're really looking at the colour schemes of the palettes before you go and jump on it. I'm not saying that you don't go, don't go buy it, it's up to you, it's your money. I'm just saying, just really look at the colours, double check. Do you have these colours? Do you have any of that stuff before? We shall see. So that is uh, maybe from me, but I do like the idea of it and the naming and the colours. But I just have to double check that they're not like, because some of the shades look a little bit similar in some of the pans. But we'll see when I come out. Uh, Posh Cosmetics um, has come out with the Coastal palette, which looks beautiful. That is out now. I do like the colours, everything in the Coastal palette, but I feel like, for, for me personally, I feel like I have these colours. I have these colours. I'm pretty sure I have these colours in. Sorry, I went really high pitch there. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I have these colours in my collection. Um, Like the other day, I just did like a whole video of all the uh, swatching my shimmers. And yeah, this looks nice. I like the idea of it. I like that you can go from like one darker green to like another light green and you've got your shimmer and it's in like the column of the rose. I don't know if that's something I like personally. I think it's good, I guess, if you're new to eyeshadow and the colour scheme of things and you, you don't know what colours to put with what and like don't know like the, the depth difference. But I feel like most of us do know that difference in like makeup pans when we're looking at them. Um, it's nice. I'm probably not going to pick it up. It's not screaming out to me like new cool, intriguing colours, something really different. You know, if you're new to the makeup world, then yeah, I think this palette looks lovely and yeah, give it a go if you want to. Obviously, if you have enough money to do so, don't just waste your money, you know, if you don't have the money on makeup. Because that's so stupid when you can put it on a food shop, guys. Come on. Um, because let's be realistic here, makeup is getting ridiculously expensive and, well, everything is, and yeah, don't want to go into debt for, like, eyeshadow. No, no, no. It's not worth it. I have Alter Ego. Um, this, I believe, is out right now, and this is their Mystique palette. It has 15 bold and vibrant shades. They're saying it will transform your look into a tropical fantasy, guys. You're going to go into a tropical fantasy world with this palette. Um, it comes out on the 23rd, that's the day now I'm recording this, but I'm probably going to put this video out tomorrow for you guys, which will be Friday. Um, it looks nice. Again though, I've not tried this brand, they do have some nice colours, like there's that green one they, they have, is it the, 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 the tropical palette one I think they have out? That one looks really nice to me, it's like my greens. This one does look nice, I've not tried the eyeshadow formula. L let me know, is that eyeshadow formula like BH Cosmetics? Because I quite like that formula. That is actually what I have on my eyes today. Loving it, loving its look. And I've had this on since this morning. Has not creased, has not budged. That's what I like about the BH Cosmetics formula. So let me know 
His alter ego is formula like BH Cosmetics. Because if it is, yeah, I'll probably jump on it. I'll probably have a look at that stuff and get some of that stuff. Because also, what I like about alter ego, their prices are really quite reasonable, aren't they? Um, you know, if you have to compare them to like other like high-end makeup brands that are asking for almost like a hundred pounds for some eyeshadows, it's like, uh, I don't think so. Bye. Because there's just too much for eyeshadow, guys. And when you look at the ingredients and you check them with like a cheaper like brand to another one, that's like what's that saying? Apples apples and oranges? So I'll say <laughs> anyway, I do like this. I feel like I have these colours again in my collection. But I'm interested to know about their formula, Alter Ego. Let me know below. Is their formula good? Is it poo? Is it a bit patchy? Let me know below because I would really appreciate it. And you know I'm going to write back to you. I always do. I always write back to your comments. Come at me with your comments. I want to hear from you. I really do. Okay, moving on next. I went off on one that. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I'm really going to mispronounce this company wrong. I say this. Mm, I want to pronounce it. Uh, Dive Run Cosmetics, I think it's pronounced. Uh, this one is their Do Drop palette. It looks lovely. So, all shimmer palette. You have one, two, three, four, five, six lovely shimmers. You have plot, drip, drop, splish, splash, slosh. Like the names. And I like in the background they were playing Bambi. Drip drop in the April showers. I don't know who does that song like originally, but I remember it from the Bambi cartoon if you've ever seen it. Um, yeah. Anyway, so that's that palette. It looks really nice. Um, so you can get so the Morning Mist Loose Multis. Um, I'll put all the money and stuff down below. So they've got Morning Mist Loose Multis. They've got the Dew Drops Gems. Um, you can get. You've got a bundle of all of it. You can get, and then shipping is going to take about two to ten business days. They're saying. And you've got a limit of three of each palette. Um, they are vegan and cruelty free. And yeah, it looks really nice. Um, from what I read and put down on my notes, you can use this. You've got a collection of duochromes and multichromes. You can use it on your eyes, nails, and like as a highlight. Um, I've not tried this company before. It just looks nice. I think I might just wait for some other people maybe do some more reviews on it to see what it's like. Because I don't know if I can see myself going to use this like that often like don't get me wrong i love me a shimmer i love shimmers uh okay and for this just the six pound palette they're asking for 59 dollars i'll put all the conversions down below for you uh 59 dollars for six duochromes i don't know i'm feeling like it's kind of expensive just for six um i know that it does cost a bit more money to make these uh, I don't know because of how much they're asking for it. I'll be like on the fence personally because I know that there's other companies out there and other multis and duochromes that you can get for a bit less money, which will probably give you like the same effect. But don't you know? I'm not saying that this is bad. I mean, I can't say that much really. Apart from I'm just going on in price here. Um, I've never tried it. They could be absolutely beautiful. Again, if you try them, let us all know. Um, if they're good. But at the moment, I'm going to say no to it because of how much it is and because I feel like I have some of those colours as well in my collection. So, yeah. I think it's a pass for me at the moment. Okay, so next is a company called a Josie and they have gone into a collaboration with Chubba Chops, uh, the Lollipops. How cute. And they have the packaging. It's just, again, I'm a sucker for the packaging and I love Chubba Chops lollies. Like, I wouldn't always do, like, other sweets, but I'd always be, like, a good old lollipop. Or oh, do you remember those whistle sweets? Love some of those. But these look really cool. I love the idea of it. I The colours look nice. Um, So what's it actually say? So it says it's, it's a colour gem pearl series. Elevate your makeup game with our luxurious collection featuring lipstick, blush, and pressed powders. Each product is meticulously crafted with attention to detail, delivering stunning results every time. Get ready to experience the beauty of fermented colours that leave you feeling glorious and confident. Don't miss out on these must-have makeup essentials. So it's the 33 um, dollars. Lipstick, a blush, and pressed powder. Okay, cool. And I'm assuming they come in with this lovely packaging that we're seeing here. It does look really nice. It looks pretty. Never tried this company before, but I'm very intrigued and I'm gonna try it. 
And I was trying to see where I'd buy it from here in the UK. And it keeps popping up on my computer saying like, yes, style. So I'm guessing I'd have to go on yes, style. Or AliExpress. Or Alibaba. Oh, Alibaba. I'm not sure, but I'll try and do some more research and I'll link where you can get them from down below. Um, this company is called Girl Cult. And it looks so cool. Like, check out the packaging. The packaging looks to die for. It looks so amazing. And... I don't know, I've had mixed reviews and people say that if you get some makeup and eyeshadows are going to be a bit lighter because over there they have like lighter skin and it's like what? It's like surely they still want eyeshadows that pack a punch, like eyes to be up like quite light fair skin. And I don't know, some of the swatches I've seen from this company, they actually look quite good. Like they do a green one as well. At the moment they've come out with, um, I think it's their, where is it? A golden harvest collection which is lots of gold now i'll put a picture up here but it looks really interesting i like the packaging i like the shades i like the concept it is something that i would try and go and buy and the price is 22 dollars which is like quite affordable for all that and the lovely packaging i just have to double check the ingredients if you're not a fan of talc probably not gonna want it it has mica too though it has both I don't personally mind it too much. Looks nice. It says it also has a three year shelf life. Made in China. It says they're cruelty free and they're vegan as well. Looks nice. I might want to give them a go. Girl Cout. Looks nice. Okay. I, have, uh, I think you pronounce it Shall We Makeup, a company brand. And I think these guys are also based in Korea. Um, this looks like a really beautiful palette. I love the pastel colours they have in here. You have like, I think I can see two shimmers. It's $22. Pro tip, for the best colour payoff, they say always use an eye primer to apply you stunning shades. It's their dreamy spring, summer, vibrant, pigmented collection. And I love the front as well. It just looks really pretty. And it's like, like small, but I like the colours in it. I'm just, I am interested in this company because it's also another palette that was interested with them. They have a few nice interesting ones. And from swatches, the colour pair looks pretty good. But you know, obviously I've not tried them so I can't speak from experience. I'm just having a guess and going off of reviews and other pictures and research that I've come across from this company. But yeah, let me know what you think about this one. Do you like it? Is it a bit matte? Are you into like your pastel like palettes? Do you collect them? Or is it something you sort of stay clear of because they're just too light for you? You like something a bit more deeper, um, which is fair enough. Now you're all probably going to laugh at me. I even went on one of those websites where it teaches you how to say the name. Okay, so here we go. I think this company is pronounced <coughs> Shiji Wong. It sounds really wrong to me, but I feel it's how you pronounce this company. Put it down below for you. Um, but anyway, I come across them and they have a palette and it's called the Chameleon Palette. It's an eyeshadow palette. It looks amazing. Um, what's it say? So, born for a passion of colour, a transformation, this palette represents years of dedication, experience, the magic of the chameleon-like hues. What's it say? Five years ago, we embarked on a journey from glitter cosmetics to chameleon pigments, despite challenges as termination led to the creation of the Comedian Ashley palette featuring stunning colour shifts and innovative packaging. And it does look really pretty. The colours look amazing. The outside packaging looks nice. It's okay. Um, inside the... Right, you're not going to put the packaging on you, are you? Like, you're just there, you look at it, ah, oh, that's nice, you have it maybe on display. But really what you want to work is the eyeshadows inside itself. You know what I mean? So, and these colours look really, really pretty. How much is it? Oh, ouch. Okay, this is a lot of money. Um, and I couldn't really find that many reviews on this yet. I think this is like literally just recently come out. And the price is $139. Again, I put the conversion down below for UK pricing. Uh, but yeah, it does look really nice though. I'll have to check out um, the company a bit more, do a bit more research, a bit more digging, and then get back to you. But I am intrigued with this one. It does look nice. I do like bright colours like that. This is really nice. So this is Ladybug Glow and the creator made this palette for her 24th birthday. Or for her birthday. That was made the 24th, sorry. Um, it includes one rainbow multi-chrome, two holochromes and one sparkly duo chrome. It's $29. The shimmers look nice. They look nice in the pan. 
So you get four. I love that like rainbow, like stripy one. It looks really pretty. Uh, again, I've never tried this computer before. It does look nice. Am I like quite in the market for hopping on it right now? Not right now, but I am interested and I will, yeah, maybe check them out in the future. And if I want to pick up something shimmery or after I've seen some other people review it, I might then jump on it. But it does look nice. Looks interesting. I like the different rainbow colours and it's different from what other things are coming out with at the moment. Okay, so coming in next is Eclenia Cosmetics. They have come out with the Fruit Salad collection. Um, this is their reimagined version from the original one that they came out with. So they have all new blinding and multi-purpose highlighting formula. They've got tart, crunch, crisp, bitter, juicy, pucker, tangy and sour. Uh, they're also dropping nine new shades to the stained glass window collection, which look really beautiful. Not tried this company before, but I really, really want to. They are high on my list of indie makeup brands that I want to try. Kind of like, like first, not first, because I've tried some other ones, but these are very high on top of my list. Um, will be available May twenty first, so now you can really get this. It looks beautiful. Does it have a price? Price, price, price. Can't find a price, but if you just click down below in the description box, it will bring it up all the prices that you need. If... Oh, and they're getting and they're throwing in some. Let's have a look. They've got some beautiful nail polish as well, and the swatches look lovely. And just the embossing and the names and the colours and even shows you pictures of the nail polish and what it looks like. It looks absolutely beautiful. I like this collection. I like that they called it also fruit salad. Not that I'm a big fan of fruit salad, but the colours and everything just go together really nicely. And I like that idea and their concept that they've come up with for this. It looks lovely. Okay, thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, why not check out this one that I'll put here or here. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.